Is this one and a half cubic meters? What kind of calculation did you do? Finally, the day has come when we're going to start making this path through the food forest. And it's, as you can see, well, if you can see, there is supposed to be a path in between the, these two sides. But now it's overgrown with weeds. What we want to do is make um, a gravel path all the way through here. And as you can see, all the way to the front, where it connects with the, with the front. So yeah, I have to measure all the, the path through now. I think we're gonna go for 70 centimeters uh, wide because we have um, bought some plastic to put underneath for the weeds to not grow um, and it is uh, one meter wide. Here we have the things that I got for the pots. So this is really lucky. We got this in Lidl and it's not something we were looking for to buy in Lidl. We were actually looking for it in lots of other places, which is uh, the plastic to put underneath the gravel. And this is what we bought online. It's something that, again, was really hard to find. This is uh, to, to put on the edges for the gravel to, to not slip out. And uh, again, this is very hard to find for some reason and it was also pretty expensive. I think we bought four rolls of these and I think it cost us hundred something, I can't remember. But yeah, uh, this is the cheapest thing that we could find that, and it actually seems to be very good quality. So I'll ask Fabio what was the shop and we will link that below. Hey guys, so new project in our garden which we have been delaying for quite a while. Uh, we are doing the path along our food forest and along our garden and the way we are doing it is basically we uh, we want to put gravel but we didn't want to just throw gravel in because then it will go everywhere so we are we are putting these edges as you can see here it's just plastic it's about 12 13 centimeters deep like this like this uh, and it's just for the edge so then we will fill these up with gravel and I think it will give will give a nice finish because obviously then we can put the pine bark or whatever mulch we have all the way to the to the edge on the other side and gravel on this side uh, so the way we are doing it it's quite hard work to be fair because obviously you can't dig these you can't just throw these into the ground uh, we have to dig a hole like you can see in there which is quite a challenge in this sand because you take something and the sun just all falls into the hole uh, so yeah that's what we are doing now it's quite hot today but we have we want to get this done this weekend so uh, yeah I've done all this path already it's not perfect it's not the lines aren't really straight but uh, we are not really worried about that we don't want straight lines anyway uh, and it doesn't have to be level to the millimeter anyway we just want it to to be able to hold the gravel and I think it will look more natural as well than if it's just straight lines uh, so what are we gonna do after this when I'm done with all the edging when that is done we already have one of those uh, I don't know how do you call them in English it's basically plastic to put underneath for the, the grass to not and weed to not uh, grow. So we'll be putting that all the way in. Uh, then we will put some gravel. And because we have some stones around that were left in the house, tons of them, we want to use them. So we are going to basically every 80 centimeters or something, we will put one of those stones. So it will look like gravel with stones in the middle. Uh, and then bark on the sides for the mulch. So I think it will look really cool. But yeah, can't can't really know until it's done.
You've done lots today. Done lots today. Lead all the all the way, all the path around both sides. Dig the whole thing and then put the edge. Uh, there is still some work to do in here. I mean, there's areas where the path is at the same height as the top of the edge, which obviously can't happen because we still need to put gravel. So in those cases, we need to just. Uh, that's what, that's what I'm doing now, dig it a bit and then I'm using that bit of soil on the sides here to give some support as well and just kind of pack it in so so we don't have a step coming in and uh, and it gives it some support and at the same time we need to take this soil from here because it will need to have space for the gravel so yeah the edges are done now it's just leveling it a bit in the past and then tomorrow we will put the plastic for the wheat and uh, hopefully the stones as well and on Monday we'll get the gravel in. So yesterday we finished up putting these um, sides that, that will hold the gravel and today we kind of evened out the sun, the sun so that it's all even all the way through and now we have to put this plastic which will be protecting from weeds go growing through. It's like 10 meters long and one meter wide, which is perfect because our path is 70 centimeters, so it has little room to, to still be. And then, once we have put the, the plastic all the way through, we will put this uh, kind of old stone tiles in, in, the bit me in between which will be kind of like steps and then the gravel will go all on the sides of it. Uh, now we have to go pressure wash our stone tiles because they have been here on this property. We found them here when we moved in in behind uh, one of those sheds and they have been there probably for years and they're really, really dirty. We have all these ones, as you can see, they're a lot dirtier than those ones. Tell me, me, you know, girl. Quarter to seven, and it's still 27 degrees, so yeah. Washing station here, now we're trying to tackle this plastic. It's quite hard to do it in around the bends, because of course the plastic is straight. And good thing that it's slightly larger wider than the path uh, so it kind of gives some room for the bends but even then it's quite a bit tricky you need to be folding it all the time we could do a racetrack here guys right it looks like that it looks like a racetrack my dad and my mom came here and all they said they thought we were building a racetrack here so i could be with the cabbage flag go on Lyman. <laughs> yeah kobe here you go kobe did two laps yesterday yeah let me show you our wash washing station. This is oh sorry. This is where we are washing them. These those as you can see have not been washed yet. These already have. Uh, these haven't, so it's quite a big difference. Even though they're obviously not perfect, they've been in there for too long, so some of them are yellowish, others lost the colour and are grey. But it's outdoors and uh, of course we want to reuse them. Steps are all the way done, plastic's all the way done. Now we need the gravel. If you guys want to do this work, don't go run the day before, two days before. Especially when you haven't run for the last three years. <laughs> uh, three? Yeah. I ran once three years, two or three years ago. <laughs> I had to drop the car to MOT. And then oh I yeah. <laughs> I ran to the office and then back. Because I, I, I couldn't carry the bike on my on our car. 
Yes, so our measurements were not exactly perfect. For exactly <laughs> perfect or like really <laughs> off. <laughs> for some reason, we when we measured, I asked Lima to check all the steps, how many steps were there. But I was asking her to check how many stones we would need. And of course, when you put stones, our steps were small. So she measured everything and it was like 46 or 48 stones. So we bought everything as if it would be 50 meters. But of course it wasn't, it was like 30 meters. So yeah, we bought 50 meters of the weeds cover and we only used three. So and the edge we bought uh, 100 meters because it's obviously two ways and we only used like uh, 50 ish 50 60 so yeah a bit not not exactly right on our calculations but it's okay we will we will have lots of use for those stuff so it's not wasted oh, Here we are, just evened it out all the way through. Now we need to just sweep it off of the stones, maybe even out a bit more here, it looks a bit. And then I think we have to cut off the plastic because it's way too long. But here we go. I think I love it. What do you think, Obzi? Let's see how much there is left because I've heard from Pabio that there is so much more left that we didn't even need nearly as much to buy. Oh my god! There is seriously not even half of it is gone. Oh my god. <laughs> how the hell did you miscalculate this? This was not one and a half cubic meters. Yeah, yeah, like this is like two or three. Easily. Just look at the size of the... We got finish of the video yesterday. It was a long day and it was already getting pretty late. So I just uh, <laughs> completely forgot to finish this off. So how much it cost us? Um, the first thing we bought was the sides that the plastic sides that are holding the gravel, which uh, we bought online. I'll ask Fabio what was the the shop that he, where he bought it, and I will link it down uh, in the description in case you want it as well. And um, we bought four rolls, and I think it was 28 meters per roll, and one roll was 28 euros. So we used those two of those. That's roughly 60 euros for that. Um, then we got uh, plastic to, to go underneath it so for the weeds to not grow, which I found in Lidl. And one pack cost 4.99, and I only used I we only used three packs. Yeah, we, we used three packs, and um, yeah, and that, that, that's so. That that's around 15 euros so that was pretty cheap and then uh, then we bought the gravel because we had these tiles already these stone pavers uh, already here on the property they were just told we just pressure wash uh, wash them and uh, yeah then the gravel we bought just locally from some business just a few streets down from our house and it cost us 45 euros for all the gravel that we got and now we asked for one and a half cubic meters of that and we believe that we got about two and a half cubic meters so we only used half of what we bought if that so let's say about 20 
something euros for that. So yeah, I told roughly it came out together about 100 euros for all this part. Uh, I think it's pretty cheap. Uh, and since he bought everything uh, two times more than we needed, because we com completely miscalculated everything. And uh, yeah, so we have lots of leftovers and I think we are gonna do something else with that. For watching this video I hope it was helpful for you to see how we did it where we got the materials and, and all that and um, if you want to see more from our videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel and yeah we'll see you next time thank you bye